Nicole's father comes over to the house and tells Chris that he needs some BBD. It's not, it's not BBD. It's not. This is not Bill Bib Devoe. <laughs> it's not Bill. It's not Bill Bib Devoe. Nicole's father comes over to the house and tells Chris, his son-in-law, that he needs some big D energy. B D E. Big Richard energy. That's not what you said. You said B D energy. Well, what's the other word for Richard? Oh. Welcome to Clip Today we're going to be talking about Lifetime Network's reality-based TV series, Married at First Sight, season number 16, episode number 11. Before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. We love and support. Here we go. Chris and Nicole. Yeah, uh, like you said, uh, and this was kind of like an interesting kind of like scenario for Chris because... I think Mark is a very and a very extra, extroverted person. And he's very direct, and I'm not sure that uh, Chris knows how to deal with that part. Yeah, of Yeah, and he's from New York. He's right. old school, so he's gonna right. come. He's gonna, gonna say with, He's gonna say what he needs to say. Right, and it's not gonna have. It, it's not gonna have. You know, and it's gonna have a whole lot of seasoning to it too. Right. Yeah. So I I I I like that kind of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, he so basically he, says he basically tells uh, his new uh, new son-in-law that hey look, um, don't let uh, my daughter walk all over you, right? Okay. Because he knows she will right. have that. Tendency. Right, she'll do it, and she not only not only will she walk on you, but uh, if you allow her to, the next time she tries to do it, she'll be driving a truck. Pretty much. Chris just stared at him. He did not. He didn't smile. He just looked stuck. Like a day in the end. He damn sure was caught off guard. Ain't no question about that. He didn't know how, how to respond to that boy. Huh? Huh? Well, it is what it is. It damn sure is. <laughs> we see the dogs running around because um, Mark yeah, blended... brought uh, Nicole's dogs, so all the dogs were having fun. Chris and Nicole are, you know, are kind of chatting in the apartment and they're uh, talking about what's upcoming in the way of activities for them because they've been instructed by the uh, by the show producers and so forth and so on to plan a day with your spouse uh, to celebrate a one month anniversary of your wedding. Uh, Chris came up with a fabulous idea. He mm -hmm. took her on a helicopter ride. Yeah, but yeah, but how, here's how he set it up. He, uh, he got a little toy helicopter. Drone. Yeah, drone. And had her pass a note, and he controlled it and directed it towards his wife to drop off a note. Yeah. And then when she read a note, that was how he that was, it on. That, that was, was that was a smooth. Touch. That was smooth. Yes. And 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 I, I liked his creativity at that moment, mm -hmm. and uh, and the idea of itself uh, in, in and of itself was fantastic as far as yeah, she looked pretty in that pink dress mm -hmm. that she had on, and then went up and enjoyed the the scenery and they came back down and back at the apartment they're looking at their wedding movie right and nicole starts being critical about herself how she looks what her hair and makeup looks like and you could see chris was disappointed because he's trying to enjoy the moment he he felt good As being he reflected able to back take, on yeah take take her the experience up. right and then the experience is a shared one it's not her only and her dragging herself mm -hmm. just sort of spoiled the vibe yeah she has a tendency to overthink and over analyze things and kind of uh, be uh, if uh, if, it, if it makes any sense self-cynical yeah and he's thinking she looks fine her hair right. looks fine her makeup looks good she's beautiful but she, of course, points that out. Mm -hmm. Now, if he came back and said, "Yeah, you look, you you look, you look haggard. You look more on your hair, right. dead she, hair, then and then what have," then she'll be offended. She'd be mean mugging him. Why bring it up? And what is she seeing when she looks at herself? I don't know. That's but, the problem. But that was that was something that she just ruined that vibe altogether. Yeah, that was something that she's got to pay far more attention to. Yes, and and, and really. 
proactively uh, take Cut that out. Yeah. yeah, so it's obvious that they are on the same page. They're yeah. very comfortable with each other. They 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 both believe that feel like they're moving in the right direction. They're getting to know more and more about each other, and you know, obviously, they've consummated their marriage already. So it's 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 really good. They're blending. They're, right, and, and thank out God of we... all of the couples that are in the season, they're the ones that I feel like are most inclined to go the distance with no problem. Right, and thank God she's not asking him um, to tell her whether he's in love with her or not. We appreciate that as mm, viewers. Mm, yeah. So, so they, they go on a, a bus tour with Clinton Gina. Yes, yeah. Uh, redneck bus tour. Yeah, comedy bus comedy tour. Comedy bus tour. Yeah. And and which was... leads them to a bar where yeah. they can drink. Yeah. And Nicole Yeehaw. was knocking oh. back those shots, shots man. Wasn't she? Well, she was like, a, like a veteran. Let's go set on, mm -hmm. on rocking her lips around that glass and shot glass and, and, and throwing like, it back, like taking that heat back and throwing it down, down the old hatch, boy. Anyway, they seem to have a good time, mm -hmm. you know, doing that. You think she was towed up? Yeah, you, I you mean, she was Clint old? said he w was hungover. Yeah, he was a little. He twisted. was a little twisted. Yeah, he was a little twisted, but I'm talking about Nicole. Mm -hmm. Nicole well, didn't look like it had any ill effects on her. I'm just saying, Chris, man. I'm just saying, man. Right. Wife, you might be able to drink your ass on the table. Anyway, the next time we see them, they had a dinner for the couple. Yes, yeah. And yeah, all, of, all of them celebrating. And of course, it looks day. like the producers told Nicole that she's going to be the one who's asking the questions of the group. She's going to be the host of the she's event. She's going to be the host of the event. So she's asking everyone questions. Jack and, and Kirsten, Aries and Jasmine. And she's really, she's interviewing people at this point. Yes. And, um, As the show host. And um. Some of her questions were a little bit um, sort of like a little invasive to me. Let's just keep it 100. Nosy. Yeah. The hell with invasive. Formal formalities here. She's being nosy, y'all. All up in their business. We find out on the after party that Miss Nicole has taken it upon herself to try to write Jack notes so that he knows how to conduct himself around Miss Kirsten, maybe to, in an attempt to get closer to her so he they can, you know, do the do. And I think that is foul. It reminds me of last year's season. Nicole, in particular, mind her own business and keep the focus on her and Chris. And specifically, I might add, know why she tends to overthink things and verbalize them exactly and and how annoying it can be to not only her her spouse but maybe anybody else in her presence so why the image of her dressed in a wedding gown with makeup and hair getting married is so offensive to her that she has to drag herself self-criticism uh, above and beyond what's reality i mean it's not like she can jump back into the picture uh, the picture that she's looking at and relive it right in real time she can't do that sister heal thyself folk therefore the focus gotta be on yourself yeah but at the you know as it relates to this whole notion of her playing the you know uh, marriage counselor slash coach to other couples because her and her and chris are in a good place in good space i don't, I don't think she's qualified to do this right but, now but really uh, is she and Chris really in a good space? Well, uh, because do you see how like it, he, his eyes caught her when she started criticizing herself? But uh, at the same time, uh, you know, you know, it seems like they are, but you know, um, appearances can be what deceiving. deceiving. And we're looking at the editor's cut, mm -hmm. so you never know, mm -hmm. because there must be a reason we haven't seen Nicole. Uh, more over Chris just yet, but uh, every friend, every friend, and now the father is telling him, "Hey, watch yourself, because she she can wreck you." It's coming, and that self talk negativity is gonna flip, and he is gonna be in her bullseye, mm -hmm. and he's gonna get it. Mm -hmm. That's usually how it works. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure if I'm at where you are thinking that they're doing better than most. I think some of the ish has not yet really come to the surface. Come to the surface just yet. Well, like I said, they appear to be in a in a really good place in a really good space, and they they seem to be content to confirm it to not only themselves amongst themselves, but also to anybody else who might be observing the process or, or might be you know onlooking. Well, in this experiment, wait long enough. It's like living in Florida. Make sure you prepare you are prepared for some rain, heat. And gators and the hurricane. Talking about gators, I I got a I had a job in Florida and I went out to lunch on the deck, and I was eating my lunch, enjoying the sun on my body and just feeling wonderful. And I was looking at the log in the water. This place had a lot of different man-made ponds, know, ponds lakes, and what have you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just looking, enjoying the day, and all of a sudden, the log I thought was, a, was log. a log was not a log. Lifted its head and turned and started looking at me. You did an exit stage left feed. I was gone. I left my lunch bag. I left. Napkins everywhere. What? Shoes still at the, still on the blanket or whatever. I was nervous for the rest of the evening. At night, I started planting the seed. That hey, we we need to we need to get out. Slide up on out of there. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I know you loved it because you were teaching kids tennis mm -hmm. and I know you were having a good time. Yeah. And I appreciate that you really? did that. We moved because I wanted to move. We're loving it. Good time. Good time. I could even deal with the heat. You couldn't, but I could. I don't know how they say I come from the Caribbean. <laughs> God, do heat. I was about to revoke your Caribbean card. Yeah. Have a good one. We appreciate you. God bless. Bye-bye. Mm. Made it through that one.